everyone, I'm Olivia. And I'm Kyle. And we're driving and vibing. Today's Monday, so we're continuing our Word of the Week series, and this week's word is Fantastic Fan. We just recently installed ours and we're loving it, so we wanted to tell you a bit about it. The Fantastic Fan is something we heard about about a year ago when we were at a fiberglass camper rally, and since then it's kind of been on our radar and we've been hearing a lot of folks talk about how good these type of things are. If you haven't heard of it before, you may be wondering what it is and what it does. So a Fantastic Fan pretty much pulls the hot air out of the camper and uh, keeps the cool air moving through it, and it replaces a traditional rooftop uh, just vent or skylight. Yeah, so it just helps get you some nice airflow moving through the camper and um, bring the temperature down a few degrees inside. It's a nice alternative to running the AC when yeah. really you just want some circulation going through. And there are about five or six different models of the Fantastic Fan. We got the model 7350 and we'll talk about some of those specs right now. But this is the highest end model they make and it has some really nice features that uh, drew us to getting that one. Yeah. One thing we really like about it is the low amp draw. It draws between one and two amps. And it also fits into just a standard skylight hole, so we didn't need to make any modifications to that. It's a 14 by 14 mm -hmm. fitting, so all of, the, all of their models are that fitting, so it makes it real easy to install. Ours has an automatic lift dome. We got a handy little remote mm -hmm. for it that we can just click a button and it will open for us. And unlike some of the other Fantastic Fan models, this one also has the reversible mode. Mm -hmm. So sometimes if uh, we don't want to pull the hot air out and we just want a nice fan beating down on us, mm -hmm. we can put it in reverse and it'll blow that uh, yep. air right down on us. Definitely. Uh, so another fun thing that ours does is it has a rain sensor. So if it starts mm -hmm. raining, it automatically closes so that you won't get rain inside. Yeah, and with the remote, uh, it will automatically open and close the vent anytime you want to. So you never have to manually mm -hmm. crank it either. And uh, we got the smoke tinted little cover for it. And mm -hmm. we really wanted that because our last uh, roof vent our was skylight, skylight yeah. was like uh, clear or not clear, it but was like white. A, yeah. Yeah. And it lets so much light in. And if you're camping under a well lit hmm. area, it makes the whole camper light up. And it was right above our bed. And yeah. It was really annoying. And in the morning, it let all the light in, which is good sometimes. But sometimes you like to sleep in and you don't want all that light creeping in just yet. And lastly, this model costs, you know, between, I've, I looked online and I saw it between about $230 and $300. So they do make lower um, cost models, mm -hmm. all the way down into the hundreds. With a few less features, they're mm -hmm. more basic. It's more just like you turn a knob and it opens and um, it has uh, the fan that pulls out. Yeah. But um, I think most of them come with the temperature gauge. Too. No, they don't actually. Oh, really? Yeah, that I forgot to mention. That is one of the other features of ours in this model is that it has a built-in thermostat. Mm -hmm. So the thermostat tells the temperature and it adjusts the rate of the fan speed based on the temperature. So once it hits a certain yeah. level of cooling, the fan will slow down. And you can adjust that yourself mm -hmm. manually. So, so now <laughs> we'll get into the install of it. We won't do a how-to, but we'll let you know kind of about the process yeah. we went through. It's going to be a little bit unique depending on your RV and um, what type of roof you have and things like that. But for us, we basically just dove right into it. Uh, the most lengthy part is getting the old skylight out yeah. or the old fan out. You just have to get all of that caulk and goo off and take all the screws out and things like that and clean it up real nice so you have a good clean base layer to put your new fan in on. Yeah, and because of our uh, fiberglass camper, it's kind of unique uh, compared to other campers that the ceiling on ours is only about like maybe a quarter of an inch thick. So mm -hmm. it's pretty thin uh, of a ceiling between the outside and the inside. So we did make a few modifications. Mm -hmm. We built a two inch wooden buffer so we could get a little extra yep. stability. I'll show you a picture of what that looks like. Yep. But uh, we, along with doing that and then trimming the piece that comes with the automatic or mm -hmm. the the fantastic fan mm -hmm. we were able to fit it really well yeah there's like an inside plastic piece that fits up into it i forget what it's called um but it's basically just kind of a liner that fits yeah. in that screws in um and it had like a lip like this big on it and obviously we don't have that much roof so we had to trim it down a bit and get it more flush yeah but once we did those few modifications you know it took us about an, an mm -hmm. hour in a shop and we finished that pretty mm -hmm. quick then we came back to the camper and it fit in really well. It was actually just a little bit smaller than our last one, but it didn't yeah, matter that much. Just a tad. Yeah. So we screwed it in, uh, mm -hmm. sealed it up. Initially though, we uh, used the gasket that came with mm -hmm. the fan. We screwed that in and then we used this nice Dicor um, lap sealant self-leveling -level caulk and put that over all the seams and all of the screws. And um, that 
would have been fine but we just went the mm. extra mile and put some heavy duty like um Dicor tape yeah. on it just to make sure that it's not going to leak in the future. It's going to be a pain to get off if we ever want to take it off, but I can't foresee <laughs> yeah. any reason why we would want to. I hope we never take it off. <laughs> it, it, so it's it works amazing and uh, the uh, we'll get a real test of it hopefully mm -hmm. probably tonight as you can see the clouds are rolling yeah. in so we should get a little rain coming in. But now we'll just go ahead and uh, move into our experience with mm -hmm. it in what it's been we've had it for about just under a week but mm -hmm. we have seen some noticeable differences so far yeah, so we're camped out in southern alabama mm -hmm. right near the coast here it is very hot and very humid and it has made a drastic difference there we've been running our ac like almost every day but this past week we've been trying out just the fan and it creates such a nice airflow that we feel comfortable inside without turning the ac on. yeah during the mid part of the day when it's at its hottest we'll still kick the ac on but really in the morning mm -hmm. and in the evenings is whenever now we can go without the AC mm -hmm. and we can run that fantastic fan. We're really looking forward to taking advantage of it in the boondocking situations yeah. where we wouldn't even think about running our AC anyways, but we still yeah. never had a good airflow in the camper. Yeah. And it was such a pain to like turn the generator on to run the AC for just like 30 minutes or so to cool it down in there. And even with all the windows open, we had very little airflow moving through. And with this fan, you close up all the doors, all the windows, and then you crack one window in between you and the fan and you get this nice awesome draft uh, instantaneously too it's mm -hmm. pretty awesome it's kind of like a small version of an attic fan yeah so and that's that's really been our limited experience so far mm -hmm. but we see the potential and it's really one of those things because it runs on the dc power it doesn't pull much mm -hmm. we can really take advantage of it to be, feel more comfortable yeah in the boonies. Yep, we will keep you updated mm. though on um, our experience with it in the future over the course of the next however many years we're in this travel trailer. Um, but thanks so much for watching guys. If you have a fantastic fan, let us know how you like it and leave that in the comments below. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time. Later on.